Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben. And today we have the Dalwini 15 years here on our cask. And the Dalwini 15 years old is one of the classic malts of Scotland, a series of six different single malt whiskies from different regions of Scotland. And this is from the Highlands. And uh, Dalwini is said, and I think they say it on the label, the highest uh, located uh, whiskey distillery in Scotland, but that's not true. Uh, there are, at least I know of two whiskey distilleries, malt whiskey distilleries in the upper valley of the Livet, uh, which uh, have an altitude which is higher in elevation. Um, 15 years of age, and this whiskey is affordable. It's in the 30s euros, dollars, pounds, whatever. And uh, well, it's there for a long, long time already, since 1988, when the classic mode of Scotland appeared. And the Ascot Cellar Collection was the uh, predecessor of these classic malts of Scotland. And now they are on the market and they are really famous and they sell incredible. Yeah, uh, but well, it, 15 years for, for such a good price is rarely seen. So yeah. I, um, I haven't had it uh, very often. I think I had the stillness edition, but uh, mm -hmm. I've heard great things about the vineyards. Yeah. yeah, it's a good thing. So when we were in Scotland in last October 2017, we passed the Delwini distillery uh, on our way south. And uh, well, we had a stop and we show you now the video you took with the uh, quadcopter. And uh, well, you can see in this video that the distillery is located uh, in between the, high, uh, the highway and the railway. And this was, well, the position uh, where Dalwini had its origins at the crossing point of the trade routes. And there were the north south trade routes as well as the east to west uh, through the Kergaron Mountains and or Grandpain Mountains. and. Uh, so uh, this was a meeting place, and I think the name Dalwini is in the Gaelic, uh, stands for meeting place or trade place or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so Gaelic is yeah, not that so easy. So if, if you drive around the highlands, you will, at some point, you will end up at, the, at Dalwini. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they just... They have a, <laughs> a quite a quite a good visitor center, uh, but the tour is quite expensive. Last mm -hmm. time I've yeah, seen 12 pounds. Yeah, uh, but you get a dram for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What twelve pounds is? It's is in the upper price point. limit. Yeah. Okay, and they had no coffee there. Oh. <laughs> we just want well, a quick stop coffee. over, <laughs> stop over, and have the coffee. But yeah, I yeah. think the, the the buildings are pretty beautiful as well. They have these round towers, I think. Aren't they? Uh, those are the the warm tubs. Uh, yeah. They are wooden warm tubs, as from yeah. from former times. Uh, yeah, I haven't never been. I hadn't had the time to to visit Dalvini from the inside. I, had, I have no pictures from the pot stills. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. So sometime uh, <laughs> I have to ask for an invitation <laughs> to get some pictures because of the normal tours. It's it's forbidden to take pictures. Oh um, yeah, true. Yeah. They often have that in them um, in Scotland. So the Dalwini, 15 years old. They are in former times they had been a miniature, but it's. Uh, uh, it sees production for that because it's so expensive. And today they have a 0.2 liter and a full bottle available. So, yeah, and there's a real cork in that small bottle. Yeah, it's it's amazing. They they make a quite a small hole there. It's not very gracious. Very very small. It's it's, it's early today. <laughs> <laughs> it's work. You gotta work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I can already smell it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's really, really fruity. All you have in the start is, is fruit. And there is some, some spice, weak spice, like, like heather, let's say. It's a flowery, sweet fruitiness in between with a, with a hint of spice. So it might be this heatherness people tend to, to talk about. Yeah, 
I can just cling on to that. It's very fruity. I would describe the fruitiness as, I don't know, it's a bit of a strange fruitiness. You do have, I would say, fresh fruitiness, a bit of fermentation note going on, like, I don't know, unri too ripe fruit, unripe fruit, I don't know. And uh, yeah, you definitely have the heather, which is connecting to that. I always, when I walk through the, uh, what's it, peat bogs and heather bogs, then you do have that kind of smell. So it, it really reminds me of heather with a good amount of sweetness. But um, what I have to say is no smoke. Yeah, I really do. no smoke. And I think I've read that on the bottle, <laughs> yeah. they say, uh -huh. from the highest distillery in Scotland, uh, set in true. the wind, windswept mm. Grand Pain Mountains, yes. with their unlimited supply of fresh spring water, yes. comes this delightful, gentle, delicate, smoky malt. No. <laughs> <laughs> so if there is a smoke, it's, I don't know, maybe... One or two, five ppm. Unrecognizable. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would try. Mm hmm. In the start, it's quite light on the tongue, but then uh, spiciness builds up. 15 years of age in oak cask is not neglectable. It's definitely there and brings a lot of spice in this whiskey. And there's still this sweetness, honey sweetness, but it's not this typical honey. It's a uh, herbs, her, uh, herb field <laughs> honey something like this so it's not this the very sweet honey there's definitely a sweet note but it's uh, fading away and the spiciness takes over it's a very long aftertaste yeah mm -hmm. and you have that as well you you do have more fruitiness in the nose than in the character when you have it in your mouth it's a bit more spicy it has a bit of a oak character bit more spiciness definitely there is a lot of sweetness going on mm -hmm. with definite honey notes i would say wild honey wild bees honey i don't know <laughs> with a bit of a heathery note as well and still no sign of smoke no, <laughs> <laughs> no sign of smoke definitely not mm -hmm. but at the first sip that you get in your mouth it's very very sweet mm -hmm. it's that Oh, I got some honey. Mm, now it's whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after that, mm -hmm. uh, the aftertaste develops and mm -hmm. full yeah, intensity. It's a it's a developing whiskey. Yeah. You, you have it. Mm, oh, sweet one. Mm. Oh, it's developing. Yeah. So yeah. this is one of the really good ones. Mm -hmm. It's worth the money. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely worth the money. You have to look for a whiskey with uh, such a such a high age like 15 years is not not the standard one it's a bit above the standard mm -hmm. with such a good price so price to uh, quality ratio is very good and and i like the taste yeah okay so thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to go to whiskey.com we have uh, a lot of pictures of the distillery and all the stuff around the distillery on the website if you'd like to know more about the Delvini distillery uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.